Hi everyone, I'm Apollonia Ponte, your love, dating, and relationship coach, and welcome to my channel, and I'm so glad you're here. If it's your first time visiting, your second time visiting, or if you're a subscriber, thank you for visiting. In this video, I want to talk about balancing work and relationships, and this specifically is for men. The reason I felt called to do this is because I have a client that is going through something like this right now. He's in a relationship and he's having a hard time balancing his relationship and his job because he's a business, a busy man. And I think it's important because this is something that happens all the time. What I want to talk about in this video is kind of an overall approach of what you should be taking either if you're going into a relationship or if you're really already in a relationship. Let's start with how men are first. Growing up, men are grown into this mentality that they have to be a supporter. They have to be strong or they have to not be fearful. They have to probably be the money maker. And us women forget the challenges that men face with this world of pressure to be man enough. You know, men have this very big intention that they have to be strong. And I say this because it's learned at such a young age. And I want to give you an example of how it's learned. And this was actually an example that really hit my heart when I saw Brene Brown speak once. And it said something like this. As a young boy, he's maybe in a football team, right? And he messes up and he doesn't score a touchdown and it was two minutes left and he didn't catch the ball and his team didn't make it to the finals and the little boy maybe 10 years old cries and the first thing the football coach says is suck it up you don't cry you're a man suck it up suck it up and that's how they're taught they're taught to hide their emotions and they're taught to be strong establishing the con the conversation with the woman is really important when you are um, going into a relationship. So being open and engaging her interactions. So now I'm talking about how do you start establishing the conversation with a woman when you're starting to get into a relationship with her and you have a busy career? Because what happens typically if you don't do this is you start to build this whole facade that I just talked about. Of, I gotta be strong, I gotta be strong, I gotta be strong, I gotta pull in the hours, I gotta pull in the money, I gotta do this because she likes nice things. And then you start disowning your girlfriend or your wife. And it's a domino effect. So discuss what you need from her and how she has shown up to give you support and less stress. You know, one thing that um, is great as a man to discuss with a woman is it, give her examples of what you need. So discuss what you need from her, meaning um, how you want her to show up. So if you typically come home from the office at eight or nine at night, ask her to at least like have a food on the table for you when you get home. Communication is key. Have these night conversations with her. Yeah, you might be burnt out, but just let her vent, let her speak, do something, have conversations with her so she can feel that companionship with you. If you travel a lot for work, invite her or, you know, invite her sometimes with you. What can she take off your plate to make your work and home life easier? These are things that you should think about and then talk to her about because you're building that foundation so you don't have to move on and think she doesn't understand me. She doesn't get me. And the reason why sometimes she doesn't get you or understand you is because these foundations aren't set in the beginning of a relationship and they're not communicated really in the beginning of the relationship. Next is asking her what she needs from you. So meaning she might need quality time. She might need some affection. She might want to go out on dates. She might want you to do some good deeds for her. But the key is asking her what she needs from you. What will make her pleased or feel supported and be happy when you continue to be busy or when you continue to travel or when you continue not to be around right now because you're busy working? 
This is so vital to a woman because even though you're not there, you're still showing up for her. And that's what she remembers. No, to all my women and men listening to this, the most common thing that ruins these relationships are insecurities, right? So when you have a busy man and a woman is insecure, this can ruin a relationship because it's important that you both support and show up for each other's needs to make sure insecurities don't arise in a relationship. This is not to say that your partner will heal your insecurities as this is up to your personal work. But the most important thing here is to understand that you are constantly showing up for each other and you are not ruining this relationship with insecurities that you might have in your head. Like, um, is he out there cheating on me if he's traveling for work? This is common. And I get a lot of women that come to me and ask me that because he doesn't, he's not home all the time, right? And he's traveling for work. That doesn't mean that he's cheating. Because you were in a relationship before with a man that cheated on you, doesn't mean that this man in front of you is going to cheat on you. So when I say that, I mean it, but I mean that because healthy relationships are two people that constantly meet each other's needs. When your needs are met, things flow freely. Even if needs are met, you're digging to find something you will not like sometimes. I'm going to give you an example. You are checking his phone, maybe questioning his intentions. When your partner shows you something different, your partner really needs to understand what you do, men. So if a wolf, if you see a woman doing this every once in a while, make sure she understands what you do. If you're traveling and then you're going out to dinner with after your travels, call her. Make sure that even though she's not there, she feels like she's there in the moment. She knows what you're doing. So these insecurities don't rise, arise because you're meeting each other's needs. So talk to her about situations or decisions too. Ask her to come with you to lunches when you're busy. And even if it's 15, 30 minutes, invite her to these moments and have her travel with you. Even if it's just, you know, her being in the hotel room and enjoying the spa for a day because you have to work. At least she's there with you. Give her the opportunity to say yes or no. And take action. Action, action, action is so important. The more you take action, the more you're going to diminish the disappointment when you come home at 10 p.m. every night. What do I mean by that? Everything I just said. Communication setting the standards, knowing what you need from your partner, knowing what she needs. This is you taking action because you come home at 10 o'clock every night. She's just happy you're home at the end of the day because you guys have clear boundaries and clear expectations and know exactly what's going on with each other in each other's lives. I hope today's video brought you some insight on how to go about the conversations with your relationship now or maybe in a future relationship if you're watching or a busy man and have a busy career. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to comment below and I'll answer those personally. And if you like today's video, please feel free to subscribe. Also in the link below, I have my ebook. Please feel free to download this ebook. It's the seven common mistakes that men make when they like a woman. This ebook is incredible. I give you answers and results, exactly what you're looking for. Until next time, see you later.